Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson, we'll be closing the topic of al asmaan ishara. So we covered how to say this and that for singular things, and we also covered how to say for dual things. And now in this video, we're finally going to talk about how to say these and those for things that are actually jama or actually plurals. So we covered the mufrad version, hadha, hadhi, dhanika, tinka. Likewise, we covered the muthanna, hadhani, hatani, dhanika, tanika. So how do you say and how do you refer to things that are plural? The jama is actually a lot easier. There's no differentiating between the masculine and the feminine. So these, for both masculine and feminine plural things, is the same thing, which is ha'udai. And those, for both masculine and feminine, is the same thing, which is uraika. So unlike the previous two numbers, the muthanna and the mufarad, where we had to differentiate between the masculine and the feminine, hadha, hadhi, hadhani, hatani, and so on and so forth, for the plural, we don't have to. Actually, we don't, period. So we say, ha'udai muslimun, these are Muslim men. Ha'udai muslimat, these are Muslim women. Ulaika muslimun, ulaika muslimat. So there's no differentiating between masculine and feminine. Use ha'udai for both and ulaika for both. And both are translated as these or those. So to wrap up the asman ishara, this graph here, this table should break it down for us. So the singular masculine is this hada that Thalika. Feminine, Hadihi, Tenika. The Muthanna dual form, Hadani, Hatani, for these two, masculine, feminine. Those two, masculine, Thanika, feminine, Tanika. And then the Jama, the plural, there's no differentiating between the masculine and the feminine. So both is Ha Ulai for these and Ulaika for those. So this wraps up the concept of an Asma'an Ishara in the Arabic language.